What's going on, YouTube world and YouTube trial? Happy Halloween. We got a DC's Legends of Tomorrow review for it. I know you see it. It's a weird title, but it's season seven, episode three, titled I'm gonna try to read. I'm gonna try this. Wave. It's W. It's W V D. It's W V R D R underscore error, which is way wider error. One hundred. Uh, Gideon of the uh, the uh, OS OS of the Gideon not found. <laughs> Um, but it's a unique title. It's basically like a reference to like when you did it with computers and other stuff. It's like, oh, um, you know, you like, oh, there's an error. This is like this website came up with an error message and all that type of stuff. But, um, this is the, uh, DC's, uh, Legends of Tomorrow's 100th episode. So now that they have reached 100. It, you know what that meant. Time for the original cast members to come back. Uh, I think everybody but two. Yeah. Two original. Everybody but two original cast members uh, came back. Uh, and just like I won't tell you who those two was. But I will give you a hint to one of them. One of them who doesn't. What he, he, he does come back. That's hint one is he he does come back but it's in like a flashback it's like a flashback scene but like in terms of like coming back as in like you know how they can they come back to film a new actually a new scene so you know it's not just flashback them it's actually really them in the episode um is the uh, he is referring to uh to referring to a person who just left the show he left the show in the previous at the end of the previous season so you are we all know who that is that's like the biggest hint uh, if you want to know what i'm talking about the biggest hint is that he just left that just left the season the previous season um uh and then it was a fe the other person was a female I, be I believe that was it was the other the other person yeah the other person was a female um uh, well, it's a female person that you that got the word hawk in it. Uh, but yeah, other other than that, this episode was really good. It was really good. But let me get you. Let me get to the synopsis. Now that I gave you the setup for what you're going to be expecting for the episode, let's get to the synopsis of it. Gideon becomes overwhelmed by her new human. Uh, choices sending her into a catatonic state. Astra and Spooner combine their powers to enter Gideon's mindscape and discover that a virus is trying to erase all of Gideon's memories. So this, the, the, this is what they, this is how they use. This is what they. Uh, this episode was also uh, directed by Katie Lux, aka Sarah Lance. Um, so they use this as a way to bring back everybody um for the 100 episode um well i won't be saying i won't be telling you who all, all everybody who came back the, the one person who i have to tell you is because it's central to the to this what we're about to talk about is jefferson jack jacks jackson or jefferson jackson um he actually get he actually got to come back and do he he got to come out and do both his american accent and his um British action because they, they even asked him like why are you talking British like that? Um, and he was like, I don't know. He you know in his British accent he's like, I don't know. But this I think this is basically getting his memories way of remem of remembering me. But to get to that point, Astra and uh, Astra Astra uh, Spooner and Gideon are still in uh, Texas and they trying to after um, Gideon's warning though is what's weird about this is i'm talking about this episode and getting this warning it's only only reason why i knew about it is because i heard it in passing like i like read I, like i read something about it and um, the reason why i say this is because i seen is i seen in this episode of legends of tomorrow the the newest one but the pre i didn't watch the previous episode so i got to go back and watch the previous episode but i know enough to know that in the previous episode gideon gave a warning 
about uh, get into this guy who's going to do time travel, mm-hmm. or and if they don't get to, they don't get there to save the legend, you know, to save the team, mm-hmm. the team is going to die. So in 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 their way trying to get to the team, mm-hmm. Aster and them come across a farm mm-hmm. with a pie in the window, and we find out this pie is not just an ordinary pie; it's a historical uh, landmark, it's a historical event pie because this is. This belongs, I forgot what who Gideon said it belongs to, but it belongs to this lady who in history, in this pie, is like a bit significance in history. Like, they, they, like, they need not to be messed with. But they're hungry. And Astra really wants the pie, so she orders Gideon to go get it. Like, Gideon is still the computer Gideon. And Gideon, you know, she's trying to contemplate doing, doing something that's wrong and, and trying to protect the time stream. And as you know spooner is telling her that like, now that you're human you get to actually make the choice you're not a computer anymore you get to actually make your choice whether you want to do that or not you don't have to, just because somebody tells you something now you don't really have to do it and she's like and, 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 but Astor is like uh, like trying to nudge her into doing it and spooner is trying to nudge her not to do it and they were like the choice is yours they like and Astor like yeah gideon what are you gonna do and, and, <laughs> They, and Gideon's like, she's trying to contemplate, she started contemplating, like, because she's still new to being human, so she's trying to contemplate doing something wrong because they need food, because they famished, or doing doing what she need to do, and this all clashes with her to the point where she knocks herself out and goes kind of tonic. So, uh, it, it was, like, like I said, I haven't seen the previous episode, so this not, it was mentioned in this episode that this wasn't the first time that uh, Gideon has passed out like that. So, I'm like, I'm like, damn, I really gotta go watch the previous episode, because I guess it, she must have passed out a couple of times. Like, cause I think in the pre, they, I found out that in the previous episode, she couldn't, like, when they, it, it was like, I think that episode picks up back where episode uh, one left off where she was first made, and she uh i guess she couldn't talk so they had to help her find out she she could she was like speaking broken and they found they actually helped her talk and stuff like that and she must have passed out a couple of times in the episode but they was uh, asher said this is different this is they, they realized this is different from the other time she passed out and that she's not waking up now she's like kind of time and she asked her like well Spooner, can't you just use your pop and use your powers to help her wake up and she tried, but uh, Gideon wasn't waking up. And they add, you know, Gideon, you know, Spooner turned around third person. Spooner was like, well, Astra, can you use your magic to help her wake up? And she was like, she's like, no. But she said she did know a, she did know a spell to get them to, uh, to get them to go into her mind. The only caveat is they can't get out unless Gideon leads them to the exit. Like, if the spell allows you to go into the person's mind basically to help them get out of the catatonic state that they're in, but you can't like just say the spell or magic word to leave on your own. Gideon or the person that you mind you going to, they have to lead you to the exit to the uh, to get back out. So at this point, they realize this that's what they have to do. They have to go inside Gideon's mind to help her. Cause they need to get moving. Cause they got them on, the, on the time crunch. They gotta find, you know, the rest of the guys. So, you know, Astro says the spell, and um, it was funny. Excuse me. Sorry about that. It's uh, late, early. Uh, been busy a lot, but um, Gideon. Uh, Astra says the spell, right? She and she, they were like, either Gideon's mind is is this lovely barn, or we didn't go anywhere. And uh, Astra's trying to figure out what went wrong, and she's like, she's like, you know, did I say? Uh, did she say Fiat? Uh, did she say did I say Fiat? I meant to say Fiat. And then, and when she did that, it was like. He just hit them and they both went down. They really, she realized that that last little bit of wording, she messed up the last word. And when she corrected herself and asking the question, it accidentally finished the spell and they both passed out and then woke up in the way rider. And this is where they meet. This is where they meet Jefferson Jacks 
and he he explains that he he's one of the original members of the Ray Rider, but that he's uh, also he's not really real. You know, he's not really there. He's just a memory version of himself. That's what they you know. The whole conversation about why is he uh, speaking British and stuff comes up, and he explains that's because for some reason that's how Gideon remembers uh, remembers him. For some reason, she or she she remembers him having a, um having a a, a British accent, which is cool because it plays into the fact that he for in this part in this portion it is only in this portion of the episode where like he the where he's the memory version of himself talking to Astor and Spooner. They um he talks British, but when they go to like the like a never like a scene that we never seen before with the OG cast. He he's back using his American accent, so it's like he switches. That's when I met met by he switches back and forth. He uh he has the memory jet jet uh jet I thought I said jet Jackson <laughs> as the memory jet, uh, Jefferson Jackson. He's he's talking as British, but when they go into like say a past scene with the OG legends and um. It's like a new scene that they actually film. He get to talk his American accent. So they find out they see Gideon, and they find out what the predicament is, why she couldn't wake up. And Jefferson is explaining to her that there's something wrong with Gideon. It's not just uh, that she uh, she caused herself to overload and just passed out and, and just can't wake up. It's something keeping her from waking up. And they realize it's some type of virus attacking Gideon. Uh, within her, so it's like she, even though she's a real person, it's like she's still like part computer. Um, this is also if you if you haven't been watching all of DC Legend tomorrow, this wouldn't be the first time that we saw a human Gideon. This is just the first time that human Gideon exists in the actual real world. Like, I think the last time we saw a human Gideon was like a mindscape thing. Like she was at it was like a. My uh, like a my it wasn't like a real world thing like they was it was in the mindscape like they is now with her, or it was like when um uh, Damien Dark and the other uh in uh you know uh reverse uh, reverse Flash and they'll use the Spear of Destiny to uh change the timeline. She was also a real person then too, or change history, but uh. So they they tell uh, Jefferson tells her that they have to go back into her memories because as a part of her brain that her memory is gone, but they can be brought back if you if you go if you help her remember different events that can reactivate the, that part of her brain where her memories was at that's not gone, and they 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 uh, he warns her that they're gonna have to go way back. So they. He sends her to a memory. He sends her to memory after memory of different moments and events, and they get the uh, Spooner and Aster basically gets to meet the OG uh, legends. They get to meet the OG Zari um, again. They meet OG uh, uh, legends. Um, man, I want to tell you who some of the legends, but I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't seen the episode. Pretty sure you've seen it by now, but if you haven't seen it. I don't want to uh, spoil who comes who comes back, but um, I just I will say original captain, um, not just in flashback form too. So I give you that I give you that one as you were if you know who the original captain is. Um, but yeah, this uh, no this episode doesn't ha doesn't have any present time legends like. All the legends that you see, even the current team of legends, that you don't you don't see them none. Like it don't cut to them in the real time and real world time at all. They all on you talk, on, when you see them, it's all in Gideon's memory because this is how the 100 episode is taking place. This is how they able to bring people back without trying to explain how they how certain people who are dead are back alive again. That's another hint to who who came back because it's and I, I said peoples. So it's, you know that it's a couple of people who died uh, that came back. So this is how they bring them back to life. The people who died. It's more than one person. I think I think it's like three. I want to say three, but yeah. 
So now they jump in memory after memory, trying to uh, ha have her like she has. They jump into a memory with Rip Hunter, um, uh, where Rip Hunter, where Rip Hunter first brought the legends on board. Um, no uh, memory with uh, with uh, with Ray Palmer, uh, 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 Leonard Snart. You know they go to all these different memories of the, from the previous from previous episodes. Um, but I guess you, you like, I bet you like what you just telling us who was in the episode. No, I'm telling you who's in, in these memories. Cause some, in these memories, these are just, some of these memories are actual moments of, um, from the previous season that we already seen before they just go back and see that moment played out. But we actually, the people, the scenes in which you could tell that these, uh, that, they actually when they actually they actually did come back to film an actual scene for this episode. Those those people those versions of the those people I won't reveal I won't reveal who actually came back and filmed episodes and scenes. But um, yeah, they 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 find out that the virus is not other than original Gideon. It's not actually a virus it's just original is it Gideon's original memory and we find out that Rip did something that's the reason that's the reason why they thought it was an actual virus attacking her but it's a reason why OG Gideon is uh is trying to corrupt uh Gideon because um uh, Rip this like I said there's a scene where Rip they saw Rip doing something and by me virtual me saying that I gave I at least give I gave you one that gives you one right there that's one person you know that came back to actually film a new scene that gives I give you one I gave you one because that was like a critical part point I had to make and like I had to say it, I had to say it was a scene and this scene and this scene was not a scene that we have like this scene is not a scene we've seen previous have seen previously in the actual season this is something that basically happened before rip went and collected the le the legends in the first season this was like this like this seems like it takes place moments after or it looked like this scene, it looked like it's a new scene that took place no okay yeah because they was talking about the legend so this is like Moments after Gideon first met the legend, so this is a brand new scene that takes place during the season one. So, um, so yeah, this so I gave you Rip Hunter. So now you know that at least Rip, you know one person who did come back and actually film new scenes and was actually back for this episode was none other than the original Captain Rip Hunter. Though I think I already spoiled that earlier in this video, but. Um, yeah, so there's a there is a little beat down uh, brawl fight with, uh, that happens because of the corruption. Um, Spoon and them has some funny interactions with the uh, OG legends. Um, even though, like I said, the old, like the current team of legends wasn't seen, it's not seen in actual real time. The all the memory versions of them are in this episode, and some, and you could tell. Um, this is how you could tell Katie was directing because she's the uh, out of everybody who sold up, who sold up in the episode, either in new scene or flashback. Um, Katie was the only, uh, Katie Lux was the only. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, Kat, is that saying right? Katie, Katie, uh, you know, Sarah. She uh she was the only one who basically wasn't in the episode that much. She had only a few scenes because most of the time she was behind the camera. Um, she even uh, you could tell she had some influence because there's a scene towards the end. There's a scene at the end where where they when they get back to the real world and it has it has an arrow um little music to, um, put into it. Um, so it was like that was cool, but um. I want, I'm joint, I'm, I'm missing, I'm purposely not telling you juicy parts. Um, so I see if there anything else I need to uh, say before I close out this video. Um, uh, uh, oh yeah, there, it was a fun, it was, babe, it was a fun scene where everybody, uh, like I said, cut the, the, everybody gets corrupted. 
um, uh, uh, Sarah does, like, because we haven't seen it in so long. Cause it, it, Sarah, it was a scene where Sarah, or the most of the time you do see Sarah on the ship and these memories. She's in, um, and, and she's in an OG White Canary uh, outfit. And it's an outfit that I didn't even realize till this episode. They really haven't been seeing her in that outfit. Because they even, they realized, I think Spooner and it was like, what is she wearing? And it's like, they don't realize that's her, that's the, her, like her outfit. That's the outfit she wear, especially in the uh, crossovers. She wear, that's the outfit she wears. She doesn't wear it when she's on the Ray Wilder, but when a crossover event happens, she that's the outfit she shoots up in. And it's the white canary. They don't, they, she never, I guess she never told Astro or Spooner that she's actually the superhero white canary. You know, um, so that was a fun little tidbit. But if I have to give this episode anything, I give it a, um, you know, I give it 10 big ups because. It was it was a cool episode to see everybody back and to see it, it was fun. It was interesting to see why, and it was interesting to see why like everything was happening to Gideon and the fact that this was a Gideon heavy eccentric episode and then how they used they basically used that to celebrate the 100 episode by bringing everybody back via memory. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen this episode, go see it, man. You 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 really enjoy it. It's a good fun 100th episode, but that's all I got. And if you really, if you enjoyed this video, then hit that button right there in the upper right corner for all of my reviews. And if you enjoyed the video so much that you want to support the channel, hit that like button, hit that spooky button, which is the subscribe button, and become part of the tribe, uh, like so many people are doing. And hit that hit that notification button, turn all the notifications on so you don't miss when I drop videos. And as always, hit any one of these videos for more of my amazing content. But don't go anywhere because I still got that wrestling review coming up. And I got some more gameplay. So, peace out. See you later. And have a very, very good Halloween.